This is an introduction to Motive 2.0. This video will cover the interface, useful features and tools, active marker tracking, and our brand new continuous calibration. The first thing you'll notice is we've updated our user interface for a cleaner, easier to use workspace. The splash screen has been updated to give more detailed error reporting and direct links to support. Old panes like the viewport, labeling, streaming, and device pane are returning for this release. New panes like the marker set, data pane, timeline, and graphs are reorganized old concepts in Motive 110 as well as add some new features. All take and session management is completely handled in our data pane, which can show and hide information and navigate your file system. Skeletons, marker sets, and rigid bodies are organized in the assets pane. The new properties pane controls all the modifiable settings for assets and takes. No more hunting around the application for the setting you're looking for. Just select whatever you wish to modify and all the settings appear here. You can even customize which properties are hidden. The new graphs allow you to customize your own layout to graph any kind of channel data, including force plates. There are all kinds of visual properties so you can show what you want, how you want. All application settings, including reconstruction settings, have been moved to their own pane. All changes to your takes and application settings, including any assets you have made in live, will now save and restore. You can even save and load profiles for different configurations. The new rigid body pane gives you complete control over default settings, real-time info, and transformations. The marker set pane has been added so you can easily create your own custom marker sets. There is even support for custom colors and sticks. The move, scale, and rotate tools are now compatible with rigid bodies, so you can quickly and easily assign precise pivot points. We have added a rigid body refine tool for those moments of slight marker movement or replacement. This recalibrates the rigid body without having to recreate it. You'll notice in this pane, we also have an HMD calibration tool. This takes a plugged in VR headset and maps the pivot point automatically in Motive's coordinate system. No more guess and check. Currently, this is only compatible with Oculus. Speaking of VR, there is a new IK skeleton that only requires rigid bodies. Just place the six rigid bodies on the hands, feet, hips, and head, place their pivot points on the joints, rotate them forward, and you have a skeleton that does not require a full suit, perfect for VR entertainment users. We have also added support for the following features. Custom marker sticks and colors via XML, skeleton pose detection, AMTI AccuGate, and newly mapped hotkeys for faster workflows. There is full support for active marker tracking, including strobe pattern recognition for identical rigid bodies. Motive now has a continuous calibration feature that will improve the tracking quality of your volume using live marker data. This also fixes camera drift found in the duo and trio tracking bars. Be sure to head over to the wiki to check out compatibility notes and implementation. Thanks for watching. For more information, head over to our wiki where you can find full descriptions on everything. There will be more tutorial videos going in depth on some of the popular and important features. And as always, thanks for choosing OptiTrack.